Turning now to the fallout from the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols in Memphis. Two more officers have been fired along with three fire department employees. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest as his family prepares for tomorrow's funeral. Tonight, the family of Tyree Nichols with Reverend Al Sharpton sounding off on the latest turmoil inside Memphis police. Justice for Tyree. Justice for Tyree. Justice for Tyree. Justice for Tyree. Two officers, including Preston Hemphill, the white officer seen on body camera video attempting to tase the 29-year-old during the traffic stop, were relieved of their duties a day after the incident, according to authorities, as the investigation continues. Three Memphis Fire Department employees also terminated. What happened to Tyree is a disgrace to this country. People from around the world watched a videotape of a man unarmed, unprovoked, being beat to death by officers of the law. Five officers were charged with second-degree murder related to the January 7th encounter that led to Nichols' death three days later. New tonight, the initial incident report describes a different confrontation than what is shown on video. The law enforcement report obtained by ABC News claims Nichols was irate and sweating and had started to fight with detectives after being pulled over for driving recklessly at a high rate of speed. But the video released Friday shows Nichols being yanked out of his vehicle and restrained. And Memphis officials say they have not been able to verify that allegation. The report does not mention police kicking and punching Nichols, captured on several cameras, instead of saying only one of the officers deployed his baton while giving verbal commands to stop resisting, striking him several times in the right arm. The city of Memphis plans to release all of the audio and videos from Tyree Nichols' encounter with first responders. Officials say it will happen within the next few weeks. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.